Answer this. Do you like everything about your Mac? Because in this video I'll give you 10 apps you didn't know you needed to really take your Mac to the next level. Let's go! Timing is a powerful time tracking app. It captures all the apps, websites and documents I use and categorizes them automatically. This way I can see exactly how much time I spend on each task, app or project without having to manually start and stop timers. Another great feature of timing is its detailed reports. It generates comprehensive reports that show me my time breakdown by app, project or category, allowing me to identify time-wasting activities and optimize my workflow. Timing also provides a timeline view that visualizes my day, showing me a chronological overview of my activities with color-coded blocks for different apps and tasks. Overall, timing has become an invaluable tool for me in managing my time, improving productivity and gaining insights into how I spend my day. There's only one issue, it's not a free app, but it has a trial period, which is nice. Try it out and share your experience in the comments. Natively, there is no way in macOS to monitor your internet usage and set limits to it. Trip mode fixes that problem. After you install the app, an icon pops up in menu bar. From there, you can easily monitor your internet usage and see how your data is being used. You get a list of apps that access the internet right now. By checking on this checkbox, you can enable or disable internet access for each particular app. And by clicking here, you can see how exactly the app uses your data. If you go to settings and click profiles, you can create a dedicated profile for any scenario. For example, if you have only one gigabyte of data in roaming, you can set up a traveler's profile that will notify you when you reach a certain limit and cut off the internet access for your Mac entirely after exceeding that limit. I think this is the perfect app for travelers and digital nomads. Now, let's fix some macOS limitations. Tell me, do you use USB drives? This app makes it super easy to access and modify files on NTFS drives. Check out how it works. I've already inserted my drive. Now I'll just select this file, right click and choose copy. Now I'll go to my drive and try to paste it. Nothing, it's not working. Now I'll click on that green icon and choose remount. Boom, copying is complete. This app is completely free, so check it out. Now, how about adding some visuals to the mix? IconChamp is another free app that helps you easily change app icons. Once you open IconChamp, you get a list of all your apps. To change an icon, you need to download the new one first. I'm pretty sure you know how to use Google. Just go crazy! Ok, once the icon is downloaded, just drag it over the app in question. Then click apply and you're done. It's as simple as that. In the same app, you also can change the icons for folders, system apps, drives, etc. You can even create custom themes, but I didn't go that far myself. Ok, back to productivity. Shutter is a great screenshotting app for your Mac. You know what is my biggest issue with standard macOS screenshots? They always come in this low resolution that looks horrible. With Shutter you can change that in one click. One of the best features of Shutter is its customizable modes, allowing you to capture specific areas, windows or full screens with just a click. You can also capture screenshots with delay timers, making it perfect for capturing time-sensitive content. And you also can take rolling screenshots, which is super useful for me in video editing when I need to animate scrolling to a certain area of the page. Shutter also offers advanced editing tools, allowing you to annotate and highlight your screenshots with text, arrows and shapes. And the best part is that the app is totally free. Next up, Paste. It's an app that takes a standard macOS clipboard and makes it 10 times more powerful. With Paste, you can see not only the complete history of anything you copied, from text snippets to images and files, but also create custom pinboards with task-specific items. This is extremely useful if you multitask a lot and for each app you need specific files copied and pasted. Also, in settings you can specify how long you want the history to be, 
or create custom shortcuts. You can even specify for which apps you don't want the clipboard to save the history. I've added Final Cut to my list, so the history won't get filled with tons of video clips. But you do it your way. The app itself is paid, but if you know where to click, you can easily avoid subscription and use the app for free. App Cleaner is a straightforward and efficient app that helps you uninstall apps from your Mac completely. All I have to do is drag and drop the app I want to uninstall onto the App Cleaner window and it will take care of the rest. It scans your system for all the app-related files and ensures that nothing is left behind, freeing up valuable disk space. App Cleaner is a must-have app for anyone who wants to free up space on their Mac and keep it running smoothly. Check the pinned comment for links. Ok, but what if you accidentally deleted important files? Are they gone completely? Well, yes, but actually no. With Disk Drill you can easily recover them. The app scans your drives and can find lost or deleted files in no time. Look, it found a ton of files to recover. Let's select one and recover it. Choose the location where to save it. Wait for the process to finish. Boom, it's back. This app unfortunately is limited in its free version. So if you need to recover a bunch of files, you may need to pay a little extra. Now, back to customization. If you're like me and want to keep everything important at a glance, you definitely should try Übersicht. With this app you can place widgets right on your desktop. To install a widget, open the app, right-click on its icon in the menu bar and choose Visit Widget Gallery. The list of widgets is huge and you'll definitely find something there just for you. Download the widget you like, then right-click the icon again and choose open widgets folder. You now need to copy the folder you downloaded to this widget folder. And that's all! Try it! It's totally free! And how about a better calendar? macOS by default is pretty limited here once again. In widget section you can't have a calendar and daily schedule as one widget without some tinkering. So here's what I'm offering. Itsicle is a small menu bar calendar app that unites together the calendar and your to-dos. I use Google Calendar for scheduling my day, so you can see here all my tasks for today and tomorrow. For me, it's a very easy way to track my daily activities and progress on tasks. These are my favorite apps right now. I use them all to a varying degree of frequency, but each one makes my Mac better. Most apps are either free or have a trial period. Try them out and write your opinion and suggestions in the comments. I'm eager to see what you come up with. See you next time. Peace out.